This is our Primer 4 860 CL two bedroom model and I'm going to give you a walkthrough tour just to show you some of its features. From here we can see that um, on the outside it's got the double glazing with the PVC joinery. Um, on the roof we have colour steel tiles, although the tiles are actually in large panels so they're, they're not individuals and there's less chance of them ever leaking. The little chimney in the middle there, that's the exhaust fan for the um, Califon heater. Uh, the outside is made in of aluminium uh, weatherboard look look-alike material. Again, it's in large uh, sheets, so there's fewer joins and less chance of any leaks in the future. The aluminium sheeting on the outside is well sealed on all the joints, as you can see in the corner here. Uh, behind this there is a sandwich of plywood uh, with insulation inside it which is about 40 millimeters thick which gives the caravan its structural integrity. So the in insulation in the wall, insulation in the ceiling and there's also insulation underneath. I'll just put the camera underneath, hopefully you can see it. You can also see it's on wheels down there and it's got a full steel chassis underneath. Here's the insulation under here. The van normally has a drawbar, which isn't in place at present, but it's the same as the one that's on the one next door. It just slots into that tube in there, which is very easily removable with just one bolt. When the vans are sighted, they have to be jacked up off the axle so there's no weight on the tyres. and. Um, at either end there's a couple of, of support points where we've put in piles or jacks and there's also a couple of points where the vans need to be tied down if you're in a high wind area. There's a feature on the door here that these ex it's a bit of a security feature that when you lift the handle up and it puts out these little extra locks so if anyone tries to um, prise the door open, they're going to find it a little bit more difficult. This is one and a half doors. There's another half door there that opens. So we're stepping into the lounge. All the furniture that you see in the vans is what you get in the price. So this comes with the coffee table and also the dining room table and the four chairs. This has a gas fire for the heating. These seats are all inner sprung, the actual cushions are inner sprung so they're very very comfortable. There is also a fold out bed underneath this couch here which I will open and show you shortly. In the kitchen there is lots of cupboard space on the outside of this little breakfast bar. Under the sink there, four drawers. We have a range hood and here's the space for the fridge freezer and the microwave up here and this little shelf here is adjustable so you can uh, lower it or put it higher up whatever your circumstances are. The van comes with a fire extinguisher it's also got a smoke detector in here in this little cupboard here we have the Califon heater which gives instant hot water at the, in the kitchen and also in the bathroom Here's one of, the, one of the bedrooms, which is a smaller one. Two single beds. Got a bit of cupboard space up there. It's got a bit of space for a wardrobe. In the windows, there's fly screen. And also a block out blind, as well as the drapes. The 
van is all on 240 volts. It's got a TV aerial there. Uh, just ignore the PowerPoints. These are actual German PowerPoints, but they need to be obviously converted to New Zealand ones before this is delivered. Down this end of the van we have another small cupboard. We have the main bedroom in here with a double bed. So it's got some shelves above it. The other end there is a couple of wardrobes. Mirror. Again it's got the block out blinds. It's got power points in here. Here we go into the bathroom. It's got a full size shower, some shelving, and a wee vanity. The shower, after it's delivered, just needs uh, pressure testing done so we don't assemble them until they're actually delivered on site. Next door to that we've got a toilet, again it's a full size toilet, as if same as what you'd have in your house. So back in the living area, the piece of timber that runs along the centre of the lounge here, underneath that is, or above that rather, is a, an I-beam, which is the item that gives the caravan its structural integrity. The panels that form the ceiling are 140 millimeters thick. Again they're a sandwich of ply and with insulation in them. Um, so you, these are, vans are very well insulated. They're insulated obviously for European situations which is far more than uh, what you'd ever experience certainly in the uh, North Island. They all, all the vans have a fold out bed. I just want to show, demonstrate how easy it is to fold them out. Which obviously hasn't gone too easy so far. Then I go and drop the camera down the back of the bed. There we are. Done. Just takes a few minutes, and it's as easy to put away, unless you drop the unless you drop your camera down the back of the bed. That's it. So these fans are set up for permanent living. You can see they are very spacious and you have all the facilities that you'd need at hand. Basically from the day they are delivered onto site they need to be jacked up and possibly tied down if you're in a windy situation. The sewer connected and power connected and water and basically it's home from home with those things put in place. If you want any further details you can email me from the contact details on TradeMe or um, ring me on either of the two phone numbers provided.